TV coming to you from Bern, Switzerland. Look at this great view we got right here. This is the river. This is starting out at the parliament and we are going to walk right into the old town. Let's do it. Go for those fountains when it's cold out. Ooh, I don't want to be getting splashed by one of those. On accident, it's kind of chilly. It's actually a nice day today. Finally in Europe, I'm getting a nice weather. Perfect weather, really. I don't even need a jacket. At least I'm not wearing a jacket. I see a lot of people are, though. Maybe they know something I don't know. Like it's gonna get cold soon. All right, that way is the train station where I arrived from Zurich. And this, from what I've been told, is the main street. We are headed to the UNESCO World Heritage District and the UNESCO World Heritage Clock Tower. So we're gonna cruise Bern here. So it is known as the Canton of Bern. There's 26 cantons that form the Federation of Switzerland. And believe it or not, there's actually a population of over 1 million people in Bern. So the metro area is quite large. Uh, there's the clock tower. Are you telling me it's under construction? Seems like every, every time I go somewhere, where there's an amazing clock tower. Prague, Bern, it's under construction. See here they got bicyclists and trams. It's like, it's a very narrow way. You gotta watch out for trams. It's better than looking out for cars though. You can't really miss a tram, they're so big. Yeah, the hotel I'm staying at, the Hotel Bristol, I'll show you the room. They gave me a uh, free tram ticket for the city. That was nice of them. Christine, the girl at the front desk, the lady at the front desk, recommended a town called Toon, which is actually 20 minutes from here. So it's beautiful, it's on the lake. And I think that's in the direction of Interlock. There's a barbershop. Just got my hair cut. You can see. In Germany I got it done. All right, there's the clock tower, I think. Let's see if I cross the road here. Big river around here, R-A, I think is how you say it, A-A-R-A, -A R-A. Someone can tell me in the comments how to pronounce it. What the world famous clock tower? That might be it. What do you guys say we get some food? Does that look good, yeah? Let's do it. Anchor. All right. I got a local beer and some water. You gotta stay hydrated, you know. Oh boy, some soup with broth, soup with bread. Have a nice ah, noon. Thank you. Hey, I highly recommend this place. Actually, it's called uh, Restaurant Anchor, and the server Martha. All right, so after a very nice meal, we have come over to this bridge where you can see down there is the river. We've got this very interesting building called Stadt Theater. Look at that big foot. 
Is that foot there? It's kind of unique. Anyways, we're gonna go back out onto the main street and pick up there. I've seen people drink the water out of that. I wouldn't, but most of the places here in Switzerland, you can drink the tap water. Oop. Don't wanna do that. I was gonna cross right there. going on here. Okay. Might just go in here and get a sweater. See what they got for sweaters. I like what cost. Hello. Oh. Okay, so I did get a watch. I was due for a watch. You know, I was hoping to get a Swiss watch while I was here, but I know it's going to be so expensive. And my last watch was a Lacoste watch. It was white. So this time I got the black one. Unfortunately, when I was in Aruba, I was going through the TSA or whatever they call that, the security clearance, and uh, they make you take off your watch. And it was like mayhem going through Aruba's uh, immigration screening thing. Because it was a Sunday weekend and it was like cra crazy busy. So here's more watches. And uh, I was like rushing because I was late for the flight after being held up in immigration and customs. You had to show up like three hours early in Aruba. And I dropped my watch on the ground. And it broke or cracked the glass. That wasn't ideal. So there's a lot of places in this region that are worth checking out if, you're, if you have time. There's Strasbourg, there's Colmar. That's just towards France, right? But then as you go towards Italy, we've got Zermatt, they've got Interlock and Grindelwald, Lauterbrunnen, Edelberg. You go even further south, past Lucerne, but you go beyond that even, towards Italy, you get so many different places down there. Lake Garda, Lugano. And then if you go right, well, I say right, but right on the map, which is west, you get this beautiful place called Monaco and Nice. And then you end up Montpellier. And then you can end up in even beautiful place like Spain. You guys all know that uh, Switzerland used to be part of the Holy Roman Empire, right? And that one of the languages they speak here is Romanish, Romanish, along with German and French. You know how clear that water is? Such beautiful water, huh? Oh man, down here, they got some like offices or something, but it gives you a closer look right on the water. Mm. Okay. There was some nice towns on the way in that had architecture and designs that caught my attention like right on these hills and mountains castle style so I suppose what I'll do now is I'll kind of 
cruise along here, along the riverfront. Let the bird sing. There he is. Zip on the telephone pole. Oh, I don't know if I can go in there. I'd like to go down to that beach. There's a little beach there. Songbird. It's an interesting playground they got there. Right on the river. Birds are so talkative around here. We are really ascending <laughs> in elevation up here. Now you can see why they do those big bridges. This kind of reminds me of uh, Porto, Portugal. Here's what I'm gonna say about visiting Bern. You definitely can do it on your own, but I can already tell there's hidden treasures and secrets in this ancient, European city. I say ancient because, again, dates all the way back to the Romans. But if you get a chance, come here, spend 48 hours, one of those days, do a walking tour, maybe the first day, with a professional guide. And then the next day, explore on your own. Try the food and stuff. Let the guide give you the intro, and then you take it from there. All right, I got a new sweater. Look at Mammoth. New sweater and new watch. Ah, Swiss style. Happy. We are back at the uh, clock tower that they're redoing, it looks like. Almost as cool as the one in uh, Prague. Prague has the astrological clock tower. I don't know if this is considered the astrological, but it looks like it is because they have the Scorpio and Capricorn on it. If you guys were to guess, what do you think I am? A Leo, a Libra, a Capricorn, an Aquarius, a Scorpio. supermarket here. That's what it looks like in a Swiss supermarket. Well, I might have to get some coffee. Real spread out, huh? Little orange and pomegranate machine. You know they have different uh, dietary guidelines in the FDA here. Actually way more strict that's why Switzerland doesn't have as much obesity as you can see in the States. The United States is probably one of the most obese countries in the world. Switzerland's one of the least obese because they have strict dietary guidelines as to what can be put in the foods, processed foods and all that.
full shelves. Fully stocked over here. No food shortages. I guess in the United States right now they're saying food shortages. But as you can see right here, there is no food shortage. <laughs> Nothing is empty or unstocked. Everything is fully stocked to the brim. Even the cat and dog food. All right. Wow, man. I just like walked all those stores. It's so amazing to see how they do retail out here compared to the United States. You know, Amazon and online shopping is so popular. But out here, retail, brick and mortar, is alive and well. I mean, I literally took my time on a slow stroll. I unfortunately didn't film it, but I was amazed. I like it. You know what, for those of you who are still watching, I'll do a slow stroll through some of these uh, shopping corridors. of Bern. Very nice. I almost went to Davos today, but I ended up here in Bern, and I'm happy with that decision. It over-delivered. Here's where the uh, train station is, where I arrived. Bon auf Plas. Bonhof Plast. Train station, I guess. Plaza of the train. You like arrive going over this big bridge where there's those rivers. There's the train station. I've actually started a new channel called uh, Bird Camp. It's completely dedicated to transportation stations. People want to know about transportation stations, what they look like when they're traveling. called the Bristol Hotel. It's not a chain, but that's okay. It's perfect for me. It's right in the city center, so let's do it. This is a special food from Bern. All right, guys, thanks for watching this episode of Bern, Switzerland. We will see you guys on the next one. Watch some more videos across Switzerland.